Days after Denver says state troopers can clear state property of the homeless, a joint team cleans out the camp at Lincoln Park. Thanks for being with us. I'm Kelly Worthman bringing you CBS 4 News at noon live on CBS 4 and CBSN Denver. Governor Polis said last week he would like to see the homeless moved from around the state capitol. As word of the sweep spread, activists and protests headed to the park. And just within the hour, police pushed back, knocking one activist, Tay Anderson, to the ground. Others helped him and away from the activity, and he was walking, but as you can see, holding his head and crying. A medic at the scene gave him an ice pack. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has spent her morning at the park at Broadway in Lincoln. And Jacqueline, you had a chance to talk to Tay Anderson about what happened. Yeah, and you know, we, it just happened right across the street there. So we did see him uh, aided by people move over to this area into a car. But while he was in that car, you know, I asked him uh, his condition if someone was getting help. And uh, they said yes. Then I asked, you know, what exactly happened? Was he hit by someone in the crowd or was it police? And he told me specifically that it was police. Uh, as I as I understand it right now, he has been taken to the hospital. Now, all of this is happening following a Colorado State Patrol coming in to uh, clear this park. CSP tells us that this started at 6 this morning, though they said outreach teams had been here a couple of days in advance to help people relocate. And CSP, along with Denver Police Homeless Unit, helped facilitate the effort to gate Lincoln Park with a fence earlier. They are no longer allowing people to come through to get their belongings. And uh, that's part of the frustration some people are feeling right now. Now, we talked with a man who was working to advocate for the homeless uh, because he says, you know, he was just like them months ago. And also a person, a uh, man who was still inside, who woke up to the news that he had less than an hour to move. It felt that the city doesn't care about us. It felt that as long as, if we were here, we're in sight of everyone. You know, we got the courthouse, we got another courthouse there. We got the Capitol. If the if congressmen look out on us and they're like, what can we do to get these people out of sight? They don't want to see us. I got 40 minutes to get my stuff together. So I'm worried about losing my tent. I'm probably just going to move my tent in one piece. Now, buses and other groups uh, have been here. We have seen them. But you can see that there are people still gathered at this corner here wanting to come in as you see the machinery and it looks like crews are back there uh, clearing this area and uh, clearly the people around here are frustrated. We're going to continue monitoring this for now reporting in Denver. I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado first. Jacqueline, thank you so much. Be safe. Denver is planning on setting up sanctioned camping areas for the homeless. The first would be set up near the Denver Coliseum, but there was no sign of any activity there this morning. Mayor Hancock told Arshon Boyd last week part of the reason the camps are so large is because of shelters closing in neighboring cities.